Hello, chaps. My name's Bob Wilson. Arsenal goalkeeper. Arsenal legend, if you like. Wilson beating off Liverpool once again. Bob Wilson cut. Rock solid once again. Oh, and a great save by Wilson. I was a nervous goalie. And that was the build-up the day before I started to get worked up about it. And I went off into this unknown world. By the time the bell went in the dressing room to go out, I was a bag of nerves. My stomach was churning. I'd been to the loo four times. And then I'd go down the tunnel and I hit daylight and the 40, 50, 80,000 and went, yep, this is what you've chosen, boy. This is great. Football is a team game. It's 11 players gelling together, understanding each other. But the whole purpose of a game of football is to score goals. And the one villain in the piece is the bloke between the sticks, the goalie. They're the only individual in what is a team game. There is an incredible loneliness about it. The other ten guys can make numerous mistakes in a game. Even the star striker, he can miss five, six, eight chances in a game and score a winning goal in the 89th minute of a match and he goes home the hero. And the reverse situation, you are putting yourself in this position where for 89 minutes you play brilliantly. And in the 90th minute, you make a positional error or the ball moves, swerves and dips and it looks as if it's your fault. Because it just makes you look a fool. An absolute total fool. And everybody behind the goal goes home casting dispersions about your parentage. You know, you think about it, this thin tightrope that a goalie walks. You are underneath your crossbar in between your posts, which is a massive area anyway, people don't realise. It's eight yards wide and it's eight foot high and it's a, it's, a, it's a chasm. It's not just a big area, it's a chasm. And you are very capable of falling off at any opportunity. I think you have got to be different. All great goalies need a desperate sort of courage within their makeup. When all is lost, when their defensive barriers and their structures and playing 4 4 2 or catenaccios as the Italians do, when all else fails, those guys in front of you, those 10 guys, need to look round and say, The goalie will save us, the big man will save us. That's when you're tested, and that's why I went head first, hands first for the sake of winning a game of football. It's suddenly that belief in yourself, I belong. That is the ultimate. You have the respect of all of your team, and that was my greatest reward, and it's the greatest reward any footballer can ever get.